Hi, Alex from Gutter Brush here. All gutter protection devices in the debris field require maintenance. People spend thousands of dollars on complicated covers and screens, often to find that they accumulate debris and actually cause the water to shoot past the gutter. I hope you enjoy the seven minute video that presents a multitude of conditions and problems that occur with common gutter guards. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name's Alex with Gutter Brush. Prior to coming to Gutter Brush three years ago, I had over 25 years of experience on roofs. Third generation. My grandfather was a roofer for over 50 years and my brother's in roofing. First hand with direct experience, I know roofs and gutters. So I'd like to share what I learned. I received phone calls and followed up to solve every imaginable roof, gutter, and drainage problem. There wasn't a gutter protection device that didn't cause some sort of a problem. Every gutter guard in the debris field requires maintenance. Every one of them. I saw it with my own two eyes time and time again. Customers would install a very tight screen or a micro screen and they'd call me saying water was gushing down the side of the building, coming into the basement, leaking into the siding or rotting a windowsill. I'd show up, put my ladder up, climb up there and find that simple leaves were wet and laying on top of the screen, stuck like wet cereal flakes. And the water was hitting that screen like a ramp on the leaves and shooting past the gutter as if there was no gutter at all. In the case of the micro screens, there was nothing inside the gutter, so the guarantee to never have to clean inside the gutter was true. But that's not fair and the customer was upset after paying thousands for labor and materials. The real problem is such an issue that it can happen over and over again, even after you clean off the top of the screen, and that's frustrating when it happens over and over again. The open screens had the same issue of water skipping past, but additionally, the small debris gets inside the screen, so you have to deal with cleaning inside the gutter. The water misses the gutter when it hits the debris, and you also have to pick out all the debris from millions and millions of screen openings. It's time consuming, it's a pain in the neck, it's very expensive, and it's sometimes actually demeaning. As a gutter cleaning company, we wanted to solve the customer's problems fast and expensive, and you don't feel very good about yourself when a simple problem becomes far more expensive than you had ever communicated to the customer or anticipated at all. Not to mention, I was working in the north, uh, in the northeast, and all the medical, all the metal devices are the first to freeze, so they exacerbate and even cause ice buildups. The screens also hump upward so they don't always meet the gutter at the end cap, allowing birds to enter and nest. The helmet style devices greatly decrease the water entry. They, the, the concept is that the water is supposed to run down, hug the gutter and follow the metal into the gutter. And by the way, the last time I checked, leaves are thin, so they do fit into the openings. In theory, the hydrostatic forces are supposed to allow the water to hug and follow the metal into the gutter but that doesn't work with the fast water. During the heaviest of rains, the fast water is when you really want the gutter to work and it skips past. The water comes fast and the gutter protection becomes a ramp, allowing the fast water to just shoot past the gutter. Everywhere water goes also, it brings dirt. We know this. Within a year, the nose of those gutter helmet style devices gets dirty, and when it's dirty, it's no longer smooth and the water releases off the front even faster. They do require cleaning to keep them work, working properly. And the debris gets in there and they clog too. And since they're solid metal, they provide dry shelter where animals and birds and wasps love to nest inside. High volumes of wasps are very dangerous and a problem for those of us who work up on ladders way up high. You spend a lot of money installing these devices in the first place and when they have a problem, you can't even get your hands in there to clean the gutter. So you have to take them apart and put them back together. Oh, and when you lead a ladder up against the gutter, it hits the nose and it makes ugly dents because the, they're made of thinner metal and the ladder will hit the tip. Many of these devices intersect with the roof, 
causing a whole set of additional problems. As a lifetime roofer, the last thing I want to do is burden any roof with any gutter protection device. It's not worth it. It can cause roof problems, and you don't want these devices even touching the roof, let alone making fastener holes in the roof or gutter and decreasing the slope at the bottom edge, making a shelf. Down at the bottom edge is the most important part of the roof because it takes all the water and you don't want to decrease the slope or make a shelf. Every home is different. The amount of debris, the wind patterns, the size of the roof, the height of the gutter, every situation is different. And I'm not saying these devices won't work at all, but I am saying they're time consuming, complicated and expensive to install. They also limit who you, who you can ask for help. With gutters, you don't wanna be limited who you can call for help. You don't wanna to have to call someone with technical knowledge and screw guns and tools to clean it out. You wanna be able to call anyone that cleans gutters. You want a large resource pool that is less expensive if you can't do it yourself. I'd rather keep it simple. I like a product that's not just easy to install, but it's also easy to maintain. Those other products are okay, but I don't think I would ever want something that's tricky and time consuming to install and maintain. Gutter brush is fast and easy to install, so whether you install it yourself or hire a contractor, that speed and ease turns into a far less costly situation. It doesn't even touch the roof, yet the flexible bristles spring back up and allow a raised profile higher than the sides of the gutter. So it lay, the debris that lays on it is up high so the wind can blow it clean. Yes, some debris gets stuck in the brush, but individual pieces of debris are not the reason for clogs. It keeps the gutter from clogging. If and when maintenance is eventually necessary, it's easy. No tools or fasteners. You just pull them out, shake them clean, clean the gutter, and slide them back inside. Customers who bought gutter brush 15 years ago have told me they're still good. Gutter brush lasts a long time. So for gutter protection, my experience, I don't want to spend thousands. I don't want to take chances on time consuming, complicated, costly products that might end up with a huge investment and disappointing results. I'd rather go with a simple solution, an inexpensive solution that works and is easy to maintain with no tools. Gutter brush works and these are the reasons it's the best value. Thank you so much for watching.